Now it's time for the People's Poll. Now, Boris has announced that weddings are back on from December the 2nd. So I thought we'd have a chat about honeymoons and Hindus and all the magic of marriage. Some of the many people who replied are with me now! Hello! Hey. So, where should we start? Samantha, what's your story? So, my husband and I got married in Las Vegas and my Hindu was at Thunder from Down Under. And okay. at the show, they asked for a volunteer to come up on stage, and she got a sexy dance. So the next time they asked for a volunteer, my whole table roared, trying to get me picked. And yep. I went up on stage with two other women. Yep. And we get up there, and it turns out that we are not getting sexy dances. We are going to have a fake orgasm contest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. the first woman went, and she had a very impressive show. Um, and then I was next. Yes. And I was not very good. And the guy literally said, that was pathetic. And I was forced to tell him <laughs> and a 400-seater audience that my mom and my mother-in-law and my grandmother were all in the audience. Oh, wow. <laughs> so <laughs> what, what did you go for? What was, your, what was your noise, if you don't mind me doing Oh, it was just like a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, was, you can see oh. why they got upset, Samantha. That sounded like a dying goat. It did. <laughs> it, was really it, was, it was terrible, but how in that moment do you... Um, yes, it's a tricky one, isn't it? an actual effort. Yes. Yeah. What I would say, like, I, I love your respect, but you were at a show called Thunder from Down Under, which sounds like another way of describing Thrush. But what... <laughs> what were they expecting? I, I don't know. My grandma is very proper Southern religious lady, and I think she was just saying, let's just do whatever. I don't think she... Thought yeah. about it yes. at all. <laughs> so while we're here, just for a bit of fun with all of us, person by person, if you were put in the same situation that Samantha was put in, I need you very quickly to do your orgasm noise. Just two seconds, that's all I need. <laughs> right. When I say your name, a two-second blast. Is that okay? Right. Yep. One, two, three. Paul. Gillian. Louise, Eloise. Uh. <laughs> Chris. Ooh. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Hannah. Ah. And Matt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Panna, tell me, tell me about your story. Is it wedding related? Is it Hindu? What are we dealing with? Yeah, it's actually my wedding. Oh, lovely. I'm Hungarian oh. and. Uh, <laughs> We have this thing back home where the bride gets uh, kidnapped during the wedding ceremony. So actually at, at the party. Wow. <laughs> yep. And then the groom and the best man has to buy her back. Yep. Jesus. Okay. All good and fun. Yeah. All good and fun. But my husband <laughs> decided to be cheap and he haggled down the price to two champagnes and two cases of beer. Wow. So when I, yeah. Yeah, very cheap, very cheap. Yeah. So when I heard that, I decided to change dresses, so outfits with uh, my brother-in-law, who was one of the kidnappers. Yes. And we returned him in my dress instead of me. Fantastic. <laughs> that is absolutely phenomenal. So that's a Hungarian tradition. Yeah. I mean, you'd have to have that explained to you if you were an English lady marrying a Hungarian man. Otherwise, halfway through the wedding, it would scare the yeah. shit out of you. It'd be like, right, it's that part of the ceremony. Oh, is it when people say, should we get married? No, you're about to get kidnapped. <laughs> so they literally picked me up. One of the guys threw me over his shoulder and ran off. What does the vicar do? And it's at this moment I'd like the kidnappers to come forward. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so someone grabs you, takes you off, and you're, you know, it's the best day of your life. You're being fucking carried out like that. He's just <laughs> can wander you off like that, and everyone's singing along. <laughs> like, if you didn't know what, what was going on, you'd be like, is this fucking allowed? What's... <laughs> Gillian, uh, have you ever been kidnapped? Yes. OK. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. What's, what's your story, Gillian? Well, my husband caught chicken pox is when we were courting. Yes. We wanted to get married in private, so we had two weeks' window where yeah. nobody would know where he was. Yeah. So we eloped to our, our local town hall about a mile and a half away. Yeah. We got married, come home, told everybody, but then said we'd have an early night, a bit of romance. Off to bed we went, tried to be a little bit romantic, and the phone kept going and going. Well, then we didn't have mobile phones. This was in the 80s. Yes. 
So I eventually taught my husband to stop what he was doing to go and answer the phone. All I could hear was screaming, hysterical screaming, and him shouting about a bridge. And what had happened, my mother-in-law's dog had hurled himself off a 20-foot bridge, and she was just phoning us hysterical. Oh, my God. So, Gillian, like, that was like <laughs> a Danish crime series. Because it's really <laughs> sent us out, oh, OK, it's a chicken pox story. No, it's a suicidal Labrador. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you meant to do? He survived. It was Alsatian. <laughs> oh, it was an Alsatian. I apologise. Yeah. Did yeah. you manage to have any sexy time he after did that? Or no, no, it's it. yeah, it's, it's it. yeah, yeah, exactly. That is <laughs> that is a, a phenomenal no. story, Gillian. But we did renew our vows five years ago after thirty years. Oh. But unfortunately, our priest forgot to turn the up. Priest... <laughs> the priest forgot to turn up. Didn't turn off. <laughs> I mean, pa Pan is really enjoying that. that that's... Did he give a reason? Didn't turn off. The priest is like that, you're not going to believe no, it. My he... cat, my fucking cat's just jumped off a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> this no. is phenomenal. So but he yet... turned off for mass. I had to do it then. But you're still In together. Mass. And how long have you been married? It's been 35 years. Ah, oh, lovely supper. That's fantastic. It's been 35 years on the 13th. Yeah, well, yeah. there you go. There you go. That's worth a yeah. round of applause. Lovely. Um, Thank you. Right, who's, who's next? Who haven't we spoken to? Chris. Hi, how are you? Very well, Chris. How are you? Good, thank you very much. I um, like where you are. We, we join you in a Tudor house. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> I knew this would come up. Yeah, well, what's your uh, story? My story is based in the Maldives. It's, um, it's a proposal story. Ah, oh, nice. We went to the Maldives oh. and kind of micro-planned the, the perfect proposal in my head, what, what would happen. Uh -huh. Started with dinner on the beach, the two of us, nice. the ring, the, back, the, the yes, the, the tears, everything else. And uh, after that, I basically paid an extortion amount of money for them to fill a bath with essential oils and rose petals and champagne and strawberries for us to go back to our beach villa and... Sensational. Celebrate. So we went in and we got in the bath and we... Started celebrating. Um, the bath was quite deep, and one of us kept sort of slipping under the water. So we thought, you know, well, let's take this to um, the bedroom and do it properly. Uh, my wife, well, now wife, went first um, down the steps, leaving water and essential oils. I followed and <laughs> oh. <laughs> landed, and then sort of stood up, going, "Oh!" They put my pan of literally claret everywhere and I'd landed on a glass filled with wax oh. a candle basically that had <gasps> lacerated my right ass cheek so I then hobbled to the bedroom and spent <laughs> the next 45 minutes face down on the bed with my wife with a pair of tweezers oh. and glass out of my ass. <laughs> and presumably this is the moment when you found out and that's how I found out what my kink was. And <laughs> <laughs> since then I've been going into glass just nicking myself and she's pulling it out. What, yeah. And had you proposed at that point? I had, thankfully, yes. Yeah. yeah, so she's so, fucking in. So that doesn't yeah, exactly. matter. It's just like, you've already <laughs> said that. yes, now get the glass yeah. out of my ring. That's... Although I never finished the job annoyingly. Yeah, thank <laughs> Christ you did it on the beach. Imagine that if you come across, <laughs> and you're naked, yeah. there's gloves. Will you marry me? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, please tell me, you know when you, people say that phrase, I'm going to tear him a new arsehole, you can go, well, funny you should take that. <laughs> because um, I've got two of the swines. Right. Paul, hello, mate. Evening. Yeah, keeping up the uh, exotic places. Uh, yes. Mindset in Bournemouth. Nice. Um, <laughs> well, it's a stag, stag weekend story. We'd gone down there. It was Saturday, so we were recovering from the Friday, but we yep. managed to hole up in a nice little quiet pub um, in the back room. Unbeknown to us, one of the lads had booked a stripper gram, or a stripper. Yeah. Uh, she's turned up dressed as a, a female police officer. Uh -huh. um, got to arrest the stag as you do, done a little dance, um, managed to get down to um, nothing. Um, and then the piece de resistance, she produced <laughs> this can of squirty cream. Yep. Um, sprayed it all over her fanny. Yep. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> it was, it's the fact that you said piece de resistance and then you went, yeah, she, basically it's gone all over her fanny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you so know what I mean? She... Yeah, sprayed it all over her, over her fanny and that, and then um, got on the floor and uh, said, uh, so this is your special day, this is your cake, and you can eat it. To which she just looked at her straight face and went, oh, I can't, um, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> at which point, 
<laughs> my mate's like over my shoulder and gone, well, I'm not. And he's feasting. Um, he's enjoying himself, uh, eating yeah. my mate's cake. Squirty cream? <laughs> yeah. Like that. Presumably, yeah. every Christmas, when you, when, like... Do you have like flashbacks? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't. Have, I don't. Don't have it. Yeah, can't yeah. Have it. No, just have. Just have. You're like every time. You're like imagine that your kids are like. Why does that? Just have brandy butter, please. <laughs> <laughs> Be because I prefer this. And you're holding your pudding quite close in case your mate comes. He goes. Oh, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> I love those. What great stories. Thank you so much for joining the show. That was terrific, ladies and gentlemen. My Thank people's poll.